Right, today's video has absolutely nothing to do with fishing. It's It was part of the sort of walk around videos that I was going to do. I mean, I've been quite busy and I've been collecting a bit of footage now and again and uh, I hadn't put it together yet and obviously circumstances changed of why, partly why I made those videos. And so it just basically sat on my computer. Well, anyway, the weather's been pretty atrocious lately, and I was going through some of the footage and decided just to put it together. It's only a short video. It's basically about some of the World War II bunkers and some of the old French-English fortifications and inside them, or inside one, anyway. Um, so, yeah, just a little short extra video. I thought I'd put it up there anyway, seeing as I got the footage. So, as you can see here, we have a... One of the bunkers, we've got them all around the coast, built in World War II by the Germans when they occupied the islands. You can see over there there's one, I don't know how well this camera picks it up on the headland. And right around the coast there's another one, and they literally go around the whole island. And down there is where we do our crab pots. And I could do them today, but he <laughs> sort of a bit borderline with the weather. So this is the top, you can't actually get into this part, you, you have to go through the bottom there, which I don't know if it's actually open. And then it takes you up into there. Or when we were kids we used to crawl underneath it. But you can see, you get quite a good look out from these positions. Concrete is falling apart on this one where the uh, steel is rusting. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. And there you have observation where they mount machine guns or god knows what. A little machine gun. I forgot what they call these things. But you wouldn't want to walk up to the bunker. <laughs> That's for sure. If somebody was in that with live ammunition. You can see here this is uh entrance to one of the bunkers. It's all been tidied up. We've got the camo on top. Pretty effective, especially for me. Good job seeing that. If we come down to here, we have a gun that was installed. It's the group that started, set, I think set this up a long time ago, started putting back some of the, or doing up the bunkers, which I think is absolutely brilliant to reinstall things, that, you know. You can see there what one of the guns looks like. bunker complex underneath. I mean there's a lot of bunkers around this island, a lot of them you don't actually see that are hidden away underground, tunnels everywhere. This place was heavily fortified. And here you have another emplacement which was probably probably a gun mount. Something along those lines. If you come up over this way, you'll see an old building here. Now this is probably from the Napoleonic times. I say probably, because I don't actually know, but it's a building on the cliffs. And we have several of them around the cliffs. And they were basically uh, watchtowers, just like the Germans did. But these ones were watching for the, during the French and English wars, watching for invasion or ships coming, sailing ships, when they used to fight over the islands, the French and the English. But down there is where I first ever went fishing down the cliffs as a kid.
Not that that's got anything to do with the, the bunkers and that. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of history in this island, a lot of history. And as you can see here, there's more buildings. They've been reinforced by the Germans. They may have even been built by the Germans. But they are granite underneath those ones, so they could have been older than that. And there's another one here, as you'll see. I think the farmers probably use them these days. They're all sort of blocked up. Blocked up, gated up. And here is one of the towers. So, one of the marked other towers. And this one you can actually go in. The trouble is, we haven't got any torches. You've got a machine gun post there, guarding the entrance. Right, just put my light on. I have a torch now, it's full of water in here and rubbish and all sorts of like it, I've got my wellies on. But, you have this area here where you look out, as you can see. You can look out the slot. And then there's a downstairs, down here. You see, these are slowly starting to crumble, so you've got to be a bit careful. A lot of rubbish in here. And then you've got another room here. Okay, another look out. Obviously, there's several of these. Across all angles, and then down there that goes to another room, and there's also a small tunnel, like a crawl tunnel, which is like an escape hatch that they could escape out of if they needed to. But we won't bother going down there. This would have probably been a machine gun covering the back of the battery. And they've still got a rope here. I always remember that being a rope here as a kid. I used to climb up, you could go on top onto the roof because obviously there would have been a ladder here, but the ladder has obviously rusted away or been cut away, whichever. And uh, there's always a rope that gets tied up there. This is the top one. So there you go, this is inside of one. Like I say, it's obviously dark. Not that bright. But I think you get the general idea, you just gotta watch out things like this, the metal's hanging down there where it's rusting away on the ceiling because it's lined with steel. And back in. Let's take a walk around the front. There you go, you can see it extends into there, which would have been, we went through these rooms, but there's another room that goes into there, with two more slots, so 
quite a substantial building. Oh, look, it's a parasol. Parasol mushroom, right there. Here you have one of the original Napoleonic towers, Martello towers, still intact. I said the Germans covered a lot at one point, but it's all, all been done up. I say done up, sort of renovated. And again, it looks out over the oceans, different part of the coast.